11 laps just made every other AI voice tool obsolete. This new V3 model, it doesn't just speak, it performs. It uh, whispers, it laughs, it switches accents mid-sentence. And you can try it now on the 11 laps website. But here's what no one is telling you. 90% of people are probably using this completely wrong and they're wasting their credits because they don't know how to properly prompt it. Let me show you how to do it the right way. Here's a great example from 11 laps of all the new features that this tool can do. Hey Jessica, have you tried the new 11 V3? I just got it. The clarity is amazing. I can actually do whispers now. Like this. Ooh, fancy. Check this out. I can do full Shakespeare now. To be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> nice. Though I'm more excited about the laugh upgrade. Listen to this. <laughs> All right, guys, seriously, that is crazy how natural that sounds. I wouldn't be able to tell that that was AI generated. Were you? In order to get that natural sounding feel, it's not talent. It's not expensive software. It's just understanding the hidden prompting rules that Eleven Labs has buried in their documentation. And by the end of this video, you'll not only have a better understanding of what these prompting rules are, but I'll also give you access to my free custom GPT that creates these script in the perfectly formatted way to get really expressive Eleven Labs results. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by 11 Labs. I wish I was, so 11 Labs if you're listening, but I just like using their tools. So let's get right to it. Let's get locked in. The secret to get great results relies on three things. First, it's voice selection. Then it's stability settings. And lastly, audio text. I'll show you how to master these three and you'll create really good audio output every single time. Let me first walk you through an example, then show you different settings you can use, and then give you access to my custom GPT that does it all for you. Let's get right to it. If you click on the link in the description, you'll be led to this 11 Labs page that gives you access to the new V3 alpha testing of 11 Labs. As you can see here, this is the most extensive and expressive model that 11 Labs has ever created. It lets you create more natural multi-speaker dialogue and it uses audio tags to control delivery and emotion. This means it's more work for you to add those tags, but it also gives you much more control with the text-to-speech that you've never had before. To get started, select the model V3 on the right-hand side. Now let's select a voice. We want to select a voice that has the tag best voices for V3. So once we click on that, we can select one of these voices and the verified voices here have check marks on the left-hand side. In this case, you can pre-listen to the voices here. I must not fear. Let's use this male voice as an example and add this to my voices. Now here we have the ability to change the stability. We can either be more creative, we can be natural, which is in the middle, or we can go on the robust side. Robust gives you always similar results, whereas creative gives you more variety in the creations that you create. If you're using meta tags, as I will show you in a second, you want to stay on the creative or on the neutral side. Otherwise it won't work as well. All right, let's first get started with an example and then I'll explain what these different tags mean. This is the example and let's generate this speech. All right, once you generate it, you get two generations to pick from and you can listen to them one after another and then download the one that you choose is best. So here's the example and you'll see that we have these different tags on the right hand side. Check out the tags and listen to the narration. See if you can notice these tags as the narrator is going through the narration. All right, guys, can you believe just how realistic this sounds now? <laughs> I mean, oh my God. It's so good. Like you could never do this with the old model. For example, could you switch my accent in the old model? Didn't think so, but you can now. Check this out. I'm going to speak with a French accent now. And between you and me, I don't know how. Okay, here it goes. Zut's life, my friend. You can't control everything. <laughs> Isn't that insane? Watch, now I'll do a Russian accent. The golden eye is fully operational and ready for launch. All right, that was incredible. That sounded so natural. It did exactly what I told it to do. Everywhere from dismissive to whisper to the accents to being sad, the giggling. Overall, it sounds super realistic. Notice what I did here. First, I started with a neutral voice. I gave the AI a baseline of what to start with. Then I used ellipsis for natural pauses. Go back and check out those pauses. You can combine emotional tags with the delivery tags. You can capitalize. For example, I used, oh my God, in capitalization, and he like emphasized it a lot. And then I also tried to shift the emotion gradually. For example, I 
like go from the laughing part to the wondering part to the sad part. And last but not least, uh, this generation has over 200 characters and under the 10,000 characters that limits the V3 model. Let's go over the specific instructions to prompt 11 labs correctly. I've created this guide that gives you all of the different instructions. Uh, and you can see here that it has a section about 11 laps V3 voices. So first, let's talk about voice selection. The starting voice needs to be a voice that is already neutral so that you can add the emotional tags to it. You want to go with one of the approved voices. And if you go with your own voice, you need to custom train it in order for the emotional tones to come out. For the stability selection, you want to be in the normal or creative mode if you're using the tags. If you want something that is very reproducible and you never have to check it, for example, in one of your automations, you want to select the stability slider all the way to robust or more on the robust side of the spectrum. As you can see here, creative is more emotional and expressive, but prone to hallucinations. The natural is closest to the original voice, balanced and neutral, and then robust is highly stable, but less responsive to directional prompts, but consistently. So this is very similar to V2. So as I said already, for maximum expressiveness in audio tags, use creative and or natural settings. The audio tags, on the other hand, this is where 11 V3 introduced emotional control through audio tags. So you can direct voices to laugh, to whisper, to act sarcastic or express curiosity among many other styles. And you can just experiment with that and see if the tag that you're going for is there. So for the voice related tags, you can use laugh, laughs harder, starts laughing or wheezing. You can go sigh, exhale, sarcastic, curious, excited, or you can add something like whisper. Then anything that comes after this tag is being whispered. If you just add a regular audio tag like the laughs, then that comes separately from the text. But you can also describe, for example, say uh, laughs the following words, and then it says it while he's laughing or she's laughing. You can also add sound effects. So you can add a gunshot, applause, clapping, explosions. And here's an example of how that would look in nature. So you could say applause. Thank you all for coming tonight. And then gunshot. What was that? And then maybe you can add a double tag and you can say surprised. And then the person would say, what was that with a surprise voice? Let's try this example. Thank you all for coming tonight. What was that? So as you can see here, you have a lot of freedom to add sound effects into your speech generation. And that is really, really powerful. And then other things that are super fun to play with is doing accents or even saying strong accent, for example, strong German accent, strong Russian accent, strong French accent, as we had in this example. Let's talk about punctuation. You can use ellipses to add pauses and waits, or you can use M dashes. This goes beyond just using commas, but if you really want to add emphasis for the narrator to pause throughout, then just use that. Use capitalization. That that increases emphasis. For example, if you say very loud, then it emphasizes the very. And then you can use a standard punctuation to provide natural speech rhythm. So let's check this out, for example. It was a very long day. Nobody listens anymore. And an amazing feature that was added is that you can now add multiple speakers to your dialogue. So here is an example that 11 Labs gave us. So let's test that one out. So. I may have tried to debug myself while running a text-to-speech generation. One, no, that's like performing surgery on yourself. I thought I could multitask. Now my voice keeps glitching mid sent Can say. <laughs> oh wow, you really broke yourself. It gets worse. Every time someone asks a question, I respond in that is super clever. And you can see that you can hear those two different speakers. If you add more description to what a speaker A and speaker B are, then you can get different um, intonations and different types of speakers there. So that is very powerful. So I have the multi-speaker dialogue example here as well, or you just go to the 11 Labs website and check out their documentation here. Here are a few tips that you can use. First, you can use tag combination. You can combine multiple audio tags to get complex emotional delivery. So experiment with different combinations to find what works best for you. You can also do voice matching, match tags to your voice characters and the training data. A serious professional voice may not really respond well to like giggles or being mischievous or being sad. The third tip is to work on your text structure. Text structure strongly influences output with V3. So using natural speech patterns, proper punctuation and clear emotional context is best to get natural results. And lastly, I would just recommend that you would experiment with different things. Try different voices, try different tags, try different delivery methods, try different structure and pauses, and then just use the best method. So all of this information can be found in my guide. Check out the link in the description. But if you don't want to remember all of these best practices, just use this custom GPT that 
that I'm about to show you. So just go to this link in the description and you'll find this 11 labs, 11 v3 formatter script generator GPT. Um, I should probably work on getting better names for these things, but you can now simply say something along the lines of write a very concise, very expressive four sentences why people should subscribe to my YouTube channel Mo Luker. And as you can see here, it now uses the right format in order to add this to your 11 laps. It uses the emotional tags, uses proper spelling and pauses, and uh, it uses the right language and cadence for this to work properly. But I can go beyond the first generation and just ask it to be even more expressive and add more dramatic pauses via punctuation. And here we have it. It is using ellipses, it's using the different capitalization, it's using more tags, it's using pause tags, it's using all of the tricks in the book in order to make this as expressive as possible. So let's paste this now into our 11 labs. All right, so I've pasted that in here and now use a different voice. Uh, let's maybe do a female voice to see this example. Let's go with this friendly, intelligent, and gagging. Hi there. Need a Perfect. smart, confident, let's friendly, that. young adult voice? Let's keep it on creative and let's have her uh, say all of these things about me and maybe say fast paced. You want growth? All right. I don't know why it added music there. So that's interesting to note, but um, let's see the second generation here. You want growth? You want clarity? You want to win? Then you need to hit subscribe on Mo Luker's channel right now. Every video, a masterclass in bold ideas, real strategy, and no fluff from AI hacks that actually work to startup truths no one else dares to say. Mo doesn't just inform, he ignites. This isn't content, it's fuel for creators, founders, doers, just like you. Come on guys, that sounds really good. Um, I feel like I just hired a voice actress to uh, promote my channel. So you heard it here first. If this was helpful at all, please subscribe. I have some great videos that I'm editing right now about how to automate content creation with 11 Labs. So if you subscribe, you'll get to see them right when they come up. Check out the links to the 11 Labs v3 in the description and check out the other resources that I've created down there as well. Drop a comment with what kind of content you're creating with v3. I personally read every single one of your guys' comments, so I love seeing what kind of projects you're working on. And if you've subscribed, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.